Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to be doing the pre-sequencing bead cleanup. This step is done to remove any excess dyes uh, before we take our product into the sequencer. So what we have over here is our post big dye sequencing product. As you can see, it's about 10 microliters in each tube. We have Axi Prep beads and also I have 85% ethanol. It's gonna be several steps so let's get right into it. First step will be making the master mix. I have 20 samples right here and per sample we're gonna be using 5 microliters of beads and 42 microliters of 85% ethanol. So that's the first step of master mix and after that we're gonna be keep using the 85% ethanol by itself so you need to make a good amount of 85% ethanol before starting the experiment. Before using this product, make sure there's nothing stuck at the bottom of the tube because over time, the beads are gonna start accumulating at the bottom and ethanol is gonna be on top of the tube. This will go back to fridge. Next up, we'll be adding 47 microliters of this product into each of these tubes. Don't forget to change the, the micro pipette tip every time. So once that's done, mix them well. And now, we're gonna place these on top of the magnetic plates. And we'll let it sit for five minutes. After about a minute, this is what it's gonna look like. So as you can see, there's a ring formation happening. This is what we like to see. All right, so it's been five minutes. And what we're going to do is, I'm going to show you with one of the pipettes. So there are about 57 microliters of product inside of each tube right now. So you have to adjust the, the pipette to at least 57, but I'm going to go with 67 just in case. Without disturbing the, the magnetic ring that I just showed you, I will discard all of the fluid inside these tubes. So at the end, this is what I have. Just some magnetic beads pieces. Let's keep going. I just removed all of the liquids inside of these tubes. Now what we're going to do is grab the 85% ethanol again and add 100 microliters of 85% ethanol into each tube. All right, now that's done. Let's vortex these again. All right, I'm back. Put them onto the magnetic plates. And wait five more minutes. Okay, next step, let's remove the, um, the ethanol inside the tubes. This looks good as well. So this step is done. Next, we're gonna repeat 
the process that we just did. So adding 100 microliters of 85% ethanol into each tube, and then we're gonna put it on the magnetic tube, uh, magnetic plates again, and then uh, remove all of the liquid. All right, so we're approaching pretty much the last steps. We're gonna remove the ethanol inside, and then after that, we're gonna add sterile water. So at this step, you have to remove all of the ethanol. For example, this one at the left side has still a little bit of ethanol left. So I'm gonna have to remove it very carefully. And right now, as you can see, they're equal. So this step is done. Next, we're gonna be adding 40 microliters of sterile water. Each of these tubes have about 40 microliters of sterile water and beads inside. Next step, we'll be vortexing them. So let's put this onto the magnetic plate of the tubes and give it about five more minutes. And then after that, we're gonna be transferring the purified DNA into the sequencing plates. Five more minutes. All right, so this is the last step before we take the purified DNA products into the sequencer. So 20 microliters of each will go into the sequencer machine. That's all done. All of these products will go back into the freezer, minus 20 Celsius. The order is important because we'll come back to this order up to sequencing them. Freezer. One thing we're gonna do before we take this into the sequencing machine is that we're gonna check the bottom of this and see if there are any beats visible because we don't want to see any beats. If there are beats visible, we're going to see them as brown little spots and it looks like they're all clean. So we can take this into the sequencer now.